all right you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me and i will show y'all how i achieve this natural makeup look in less than 15 minutes so if you're a person that like to get out the house fast want to throw a little something on and want to still look natural this is a video for you okay so i will show y'all how to achieve this look in no time okay practice makes perfect i don't i haven't been doing makeup no more but that don't mean i still don't got it y'all so let me show y'all how to achieve this look moisturize my face and all I'm gonna do now is brush brush my eyebrows and push this face out there let's see I'm going to brush my eyebrows because I haven't got them done but that I kind of like doing my eyebrows when I haven't had them done because it gives me the most natural you know natural look that I like okay so let me show y'all how y'all achieve this y'all this is the key all right so now I'm going to take Fenty Beauty and this is in 7K, 410, 7K3, okay? And so this is what I'm gonna, this is how you get that natural look, y'all. So what I do is take some in my hand, just a little bit. Make sure you close your back, don't be like me. All right, and I take it and rub in my hand like lotion, y'all. And y'all, I rub it all over my face. Cause I like, my makeup to be very, very natural. So rub it all over. Get all the places that you want. And that's literally all you need. Rub it on there and then boom, okay? All right. So you can always add a little bit more on the places that you feel like me. So I always add a little bit right around my chin area, my mouth area where I have the most dark spots. And I still rub it in like a ocean. Get that neck, rub it on your neck. Okay. So now this is where the magic could be in them. All right, now that it's done, I am about to put, do the eyebrows next. So this is what I do for my eyebrows. So since I like them really natural, all I do is push them back in the shape I want. And then I use NYX, NYX Tame and Frame and Espresso. Espresso, it's like this brow gel, right? So then I just take a little bit on this brush and put it in the shape that I want. Not a lot, just a little bit. Little, little bit. Bend in the front. Real soft strokes. See, like barely, barely soft. Then I'm gonna do the other side. That's all you need is a little one or two because you don't want them too thick. Remember, this is natural. All right. So that's just enough. And then all I do is scoop them back. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Then the next step is I'm going to type fun. Fun concealer. I'm going to apply it to this flat brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. It has to be flat, y'all, in order for you to get the... And you really don't even need that much of it, y'all. The thing I do is lightly... Let me turn this one so I can see. I pretty much just follow the guy that I want. All you're doing is cleaning up the brows. Really, really lightly. See that? Then you could always 
mine up and add just a tad bit more if you want a better shape. If you want to pop a little bit more, and a bit more. Boom. So as you can see, it's not perfect, and that's the point. You don't want it too perfect. You just want to line underneath the brow up like that. Then boom, drag that product down. Remember, make sure it's lined up how you want it. Boom. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take this Real Techniques brush, or easy. I just wash these brushes, y'all, so I'm trying to make sure that I... So I'm taking this Real Techniques brush, and I'm really just blending that in. Blend it in. Make sure you blend it good, because you want it to look as natural as possible. Bend it down. Bend it, bend it. And then boom, there you go. You got some natural brows. And if I would have got them arch with thread, because I get my brows there, they would have been really, really perfect. But look at that, y'all. Perfect. Just how I like them. And then all I do is make sure I blend it in. Dragging the product down, patting it into my skin. And as you can see, I don't really do nothing with the top. I keep the top natural. Because that's how I like it. Right now, so for the next thing, I'm going to add some light concealer underneath my eyes. Because that's why I have problems with my dark areas. Really just need a tad bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so I added some underneath and then I'm gonna take, also take another Real Techniques brush, y'all. These are the best brushes, hands down. Make sure it's dry. Okay, then I'm going to just pat this product in under my eye, really, really natural. Make sure you look up to get this corners and them crevices. So as you can see, it just brightened up that under eye just a little bit. Okay, so the most important thing is to make sure you take your time when you're blending. My mom and I was talking so loud, so I had to do this voiceover instead. So just make sure you take your time when you blend it because that is the most important thing. That way, when you take your pictures and you got your flash on, nobody's saying you looking like a ghost, okay? And then it's also good to just drag the product down around your nose a little bit. And so now we're just going to add a little bit more. And this purpose is just to bring it on top of the eyes, okay? On top of your lids, because you want all that to be faded in also. So what I do is dab a little bit of it and then lightly pat over my lids because you don't want it fully covered but you want it enough to where it's been the end same thing over here. So this part is really important because if you don't do it on top of the eye, then your eyes looking black and the under eye is bright. We don't want that. You can see the difference. <laughs> now I'm 
now the next thing I like to do is use Sasha Buttercup. It's always been my favorite, y'all. The classic. Why is this lash on here, y'all? Everybody know when them lashes come off, they can end up anywhere. And so I'm going to use the same brush that I used to sit to just pat that product underneath my eye. And as you can see, I'm pressing it into my skin. Because I want it to sit, not sweat. Set my sweat. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead, take a little bit over them eyes. Cause they got some uh uh cassette on there as well. As you can see it already looks like it's already blended, but we're gonna brush that off as well, okay? So now the next thing I like to do is take make sure it's dry this brush right here. I think I got this a wet and wild brush, and I'm going to use this MAC blush. It is called Frost, y'all, and I really, really love this brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit and add some contour. So I really don't like contouring with, like, contour powder. I like to contour with blush because I like that blush feel, you know, that blush look. So just need a little bit. And you add it to the spot that you want. So as you can see, it's real, real light. I was looking it up. I think they discontinued this color, but I always was a fan of using blush to contour just because I like my cheeks rosy. And I'm just not a fan of like brown contour, like really, really brown contour. So I kind of figure, y'all, let's speed this part up. So, but this part, you also need to take your time doing as well. So as you can see, it's just enough, not too much just enough you know i'm gonna go back with the brush that we used to highlight and just dust the rest of that away when i first started like applying setting powder i never like could get a way to make it really really set but the key is to press it into your skin and then brush it away now we're going to take this brush so i like to use this brush right here because i like to have just a light highlight not too bold and I'm going to be using this Urban Decay. Y'all, this is my old faithful in the color lit. This naked Urban Decay lit. All right. And so what I'm going to do is take it across the spot that I want. See that? It's not a lot, but it's enough. Just enough. And then what I'm going to do is take the brush that I used to contour with and use the opposite side and rub it in. Same thing for the other side. I really feel like the makeup game going into a new natural way. You know, not soft beats, nothing too harsh. And that's what I like. So as you can see, it's just enough. And then I'm going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose. And as y'all can see, I didn't highlight and contour my nose because I like to keep it very, very simple. Yep. Yeah. And so it's just enough, not too much. Don't want to make it pop too hard. All right. So pretty much this is what I do to get that natural look. And now I'm going to spray. Whew. I was feeling like I'm going to drown. Then we're going to fan it. And then... I'm about to pop these lashes on off camera and then I will show y'all to finish look. Well, I'll show y'all how to do my ombre looks. My ombre look also. I love a cute ombre. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to use Aqua 4 to apply to my lips because you want the moisturize, especially when you're using matte lip colors. All right, now I'm looking for my lip pencil. I don't know why it's taking so long. So now this is a Ruby Kisses lip pencil. And I like to lightly, well, not lightly, but line it around the edges and the top and feel it kind of in, in the corners just to create that ombre look. And this pencil was $0.99, cents, so very, very cheap and affordable. And you could get a whole bunch of it in the top comes with 
a pencil sharpener just in case you on the go and you need to sharp for, you know, a re a redo. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, next thing I'm going to take is this Albany Cosmetics. I just bought this for $2.99. I'm using it for the center, and it was like, I think it's called Honey Kisses, and I put it, I will put it in the details below. But I really love this color. I seen it on Instagram on the makeup page, and I was like, wow, I love this look. And go back with the pencil just to, you know, lighten up your, I mean, darken up your liner to make it more, you know, bold. And then, now we're going to gloss it up, y'all. So, I'm going to be using my Fenty lip gloss. This this is my favorite lip gloss, y'all, and I've been using it for a while now. I have had it forever. And then, boom, that's the finished look. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. Very natural and very cute. I will also be posting pictures of my outfit that I got from Barbie's Couture, which is a black-owned business. I'll put the link and her Instagram name below, so get y'all some cute fits for a very reasonable price, quality clothes. And with that being said, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below of what you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.